So what you're seeing me do is train the open muscle, and that was taken today. I trained the 5.3.2 version uh, with the new LASK system, and what I did is I had three separate training sessions that I saved into three separate files. That way I could make sure that the model never has a portion of the data. Even though it says it has an 80%, 20% split, I wanted to make sure that the results that I was seeing was actually coming from the sensor data and not somehow still coming from the last. So my good friend Harry suggested that I do this training session and just see what the outcome was. Not only was I surprised to find that with literally only about five minutes of training data, I was again able to predict finger movements and pressure, but the fact that the noise was relatively low and that I hadn't broken the bracelet or anything crazy didn't happen, and it did just kind of confirm that the data is good. Now, it's not perfect. It's only five minutes, but as I'll, I'll tell you later in this video, it is really exciting for a couple of different reasons that I only needed about five minutes to get a decent amount of accuracy. I'm getting discernible outputs from the pressure sensor. So this whole time I wasn't recording uh, the audio. I didn't realize it. It's probably there in the background, really soft. Okay, it said that it it predicted the real world output, which is awesome. So now I need to, uh, did it save it? It did save it. So live machine learning. Okay, let's do the live machine learning. Let's, uh, okay, so now you'll see the yellow is predicting, and so this is me moving my fingers, but the yellow isn't moving. Well, it actually is. Ha! It's just a little bit slower than real time, right? Ha <laughs> It's actually predicting a couple of my fingers, not all of them. And I'm not even moving the lasks because the last system is there. But let me put it in the same position, so... And again, this is not in time. It's probably slowing down. But now let's see how fast. Because I just pressed the last. There we go. <laughs> That's cool. It's interesting. So it, it, it sees it. You saw it. That was, you just, the whole video actually had it. Sadly, I wasn't talking. Um, but I recorded all of these, and it and it is predicting it successfully predicting uh, because the open muscle band is still in the same spot. Of course, not a hundred percent accuracy. This is only with what five minutes of data. I I don't know. I can look in the video. I've been recording the whole time. Sadly, the audio wasn't the whole time. So now this is without the last at all. I'm going to try to do the finger movements without having the open muscle band. Now, of course, it's not going to be perfect because I'm not doing the same movement with the same force. But it's interesting nonetheless. It is kind of predicting some of the movement. But again, more tests have to be done. This is with a very short amount of time. But this is the bracelet that actually worked well. Um, and with five minutes of training. So I wonder, I wonder what longer training is going to look like when it comes to the open muscle and the LASK system. Because I'm giving it pretty clear labels of what the finger is doing, which actually causes these sensors to pick up on the muscles actually expanding and contracting. Uh, it's so awesome. Although contraction, uh, the wrong use, use of the word contract. That's funny. But yeah, that's open muscle, all trained in one video. Uh, you saw it, the actual full video has the training uh, portion and uh, the results. But this is just with a very small sample. So just imagine what hundreds of hours could do, or better data, or better sensors, higher ADCs, lots to improve.